I want to fight like them one day. Yeah, that makes two of us. Hey, Ryu, what are your dreams? Dreams? You mean like what I want to be when I grow up? Yeah. I'm not really sure. I guess I want to grow strong to protect the ones I care about. What about you? I don't really know. I guess I want to grow strong to protect the ones I care about. Hey, I just said that. No, I said it better. It's always competition with you. Except I always win. Ha, don't you wish. You want to go? Because we can go right now. Sure, I'll just beat you like I always do. I've never tried that one before. Ha! This one's new. Ha! Thought you were gonna fight me for real this time. Hey, you're the one playing defense. You gonna keep holding me back? You really bore me sometimes. Time. You fight the real this time. You know the master's going to scold us for not killing one another. Rise. You two knew the importance of this fight, yet you chose to take it lightly. Neither of you has what it takes to become a master adept. That's not true, we- Save it, Ryu. Tomorrow, I want to meet with you and Ashura here, at the usual spot, at the usual time. First thing at bell ring. Yes, father. I mean, master. Make haste. Except for you, Ashura. I want to see you in my office. That fight was a disappointment. You two have succeeded in all the preliminary exams, yet when it comes to the final test, you both take it lightly. You don't understand. Only one of you can become a master adept. I know this isn't some sort of joke to either of you. I understand how you two are like brothers to one another. But even that bond can't get in the way of your true goals. You raised us both. You've been a father to us. Surely you understand. Ashura, how important is it to you to become a master adept? One of the highest ranking mandarins in our world. You know I'll do anything to achieve that goal. I need to push past where my father failed. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. Well, you know the four basic elements. Fire, water, earth, and air, correct? Of course I do. 
and the two divine elements, light and darkness, which are both equal. Such things are rudimentary. What are you getting at? And what of the seventh element? Seventh element? Scholars are still trying to define the very nature of it. Some even refuse to call it an element. I don't think I'm following you. There is an innate power in each and every one of us, Ashura. That power is your essence. It's the core of your entire being. It powers your heart and soul. It's the true you manifested. Hmm. Can I use the seventh element? Everyone can use it. It's the simplest power an adept has, but it can also be his strongest. The only limitation is the will of the adept. I thought my true power was my ability to use darkness. Not that I'm proud of it or anything. You should be very proud of that. You've almost mastered full control over one of the divine elements. But it's darkness. Using it is frowned upon across the five great kingdoms. They see it as evil. A popular misconception amongst the people. A band of fire users pillages one village, and a band of air users pillages another. Which of these two is the lesser evil? It's not the ability, but rather the intent in which you use the ability. Eh, maybe. Although users of darkness are frowned upon, I have high hopes for you to become the next master adept. I know you struggled in your past, but look at how far you've come. There aren't many master adepts who use the power of darkness with good intentions. However, you have a felicitous heart. That's why I want you to change the misconceptions of the people. You'll banish that ignorance and show them that adepts can use the power of darkness and have both self-control and good intent. I don't know all about that. Come early tomorrow, before bell ring. I want to show you the key to unlocking an adept's full potential. You'll teach me? You're like a son to me, Ashura. Ryu is ahead of his time, and what you have to learn will take you a while. But I'm willing to teach you if you're willing to be taught. Hey, I think I'm ready to do this. So, what's the first step? True power. Ashura, you worry me sometimes. What do you mean? Your fears hold you back. Being an adept of darkness, Ryu, your idiot father. These things you need to release. To do this, you can't just give it your best. You must give it your all. I'll do anything. I'm not afraid. No. You'll fail where your father did. And like him, you'll become a faceless failure. I'll be nothing like my father. And what does he have to do with any of this? I sense his idiocracy pulsing through you. Prove me wrong. These are the visions I see. You'll be worse than your dolt father. Stop talking about him. Derelict child, I'm through babysitting you. I should have chosen Ryu for this instead. You'll never make master. You won't even live to see Ryu succeed where you failed. You have your inane father to thank for that. Hmm?
Your fears hold you back. Have you remain father to thank for Being that? Being an adept of darkness. You'll fail where your father did. Ashura, you worry me sometimes. That's why I want you to change the misconceptions of the people. You have a felicitous heart. You're like a son to me, Ashura. These things you need to release. But it's darkness. Using it is frowned upon across the five great kingdoms. You can't just give it your best. You must give it your all. I recognize your space from around these parts. You know if he's from Arcane. What you doing out here? Hey, what's this you hit? Hey, he's the dark adept that murdered one of Arcane's masters. I knew an adept of darkness could not be trusted. Hey, guys, guys. You got it all wrong here. run to now it's your kind of evil that allows us to be heroes
Did I use too much energy? I knew an adept of darkness could not be trusted. You worry me sometimes. It's your kind of evil that allows us to be heroes. It's not the ability, but rather the intent in which you use the ability. That was trash. You call that an energy cast? Do it again. How, Dad? You can't even do it. And now they're laughing at us. Knows fire. How is that possible? Reset. Punch. Reset. Punch. Good. You're an idiot. Ryu, you're still an idiot. I didn't mean to kill the master. I. I just... Let your emotions get the best of you. Does that darkness of yours take over? Where is your control? He provoked me. And your response? I guess that makes me rogue now, huh? You said it. Not me. Council wants you dead, but if anybody's gonna kill you, let it be me. I don't want to fight you, Ryu. You're my friend. So are you. I'll accept my fate as rogue. Even death. But not at the hands of my friend. You don't get it, do you? If I kill you, I'd become Master Adept. Couldn't bring myself to do it before. But I have every inch of resolve to do it now. It's done. You won't stop until I'm dead at your feet. 
and I won't die without becoming master first. I'll accept my path as rogue, but I won't fall by your hand. Fine. You can die by my blade instead.
Sometimes you can't always look at a person and truly judge their character. People make outwardly mistakes all the time. But if people stick around long enough, they will understand what your aura is really like. To do this, you can't just give it your best. You must give it your all. I guess fate wasn't on your side this time. Or mine. Old friend. Ashura! Master? As you should have expected, this was a setup. A test. A test? You truly are perfect for the position of Master Adept. You've proven wrong the stereotypes of dark adepts, and you've unlocked the greatest power yet. Self-control. <coughs> Congratulations, Ashura. I guess you really did deserve it more. I'm glad I gotta fight you for real this time. I'm not sure how you managed to unlock your true power without first learning the power of light. But I won't tell anyone. Thank you. Both of you.